All right, came across this very interesting article in my newest feed about how the prosecution at the Kyle Rittenhouse trial is trying to make the argument that Kyle Rittenhouse provoked the shooting uh, during the events on August 25th of 2020. And I'm going to show the article right now. This again was in my newest feed. I came across it, just had to do a video on it. It was very, very, it caught my attention very much. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse provoked deadly shootings in Wisconsin prosecution argues in closing. Closing arguments in homicide trial of Wisconsin team center in provocation versus self-defense. Now, you see the video and you see the photos of the actual events. He was very clearly acting in self-defense. The guys, they attacked him, they, they ran at him, they jumped at him, and they tried to assault him and they threatened him too, and he simply shot them in self-defense. You simply just watch the video, it's all right there. but. The prosecution argues otherwise. So it says, the prosecution kicked off closing arguments Monday in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse aiming to convince the jury that the teenager opened fire during protests at Kenosha, Wisconsin without justification and after provoking a conflict. Rittenhouse is charged with a felony homicide related to the killings of two men and attempted felony homicide for wounding a third. Defense lawyers will follow with its final address to the jury and is expected to highlight the, co the considerable evidence presented at the trial supporting Rittenhouse's argument that he was attacked before he fired a semi-automatic AR-15 assault style rifle, killing two men and wounding a third. Now, again, the, the jury, you know, obviously my, my theory on the whole thing is that they're going to declare him innocent and it's going to be another riot on the whole thing and it's going to you know, essentially bring in another type of police state type thing. Just my theory on the whole thing, but how does the Illuminati New World Order act? You know, order out of chaos. And I do believe there's going to be another, like, BLM style rat that we saw during the summer of 2020 if this kid is uh, declared innocent for simply just acting in self-defense. But continuing... Kenosha County Assistant uh, District Attorney Thomas Binger told the jury that Rittenhouse shot two men during a highly vo volatile protest in the Wisconsin city pro in the Wisconsin protest in the Wisconsin city against a police shooting there after provoking the, this entire incident by brandishing his weapon. That's the thing right there. But let me show you some photos of the whole thing. They just claim that he's brandishing his weapon. Well, here is one of the attackers showing a gun, pointing a gun right at Rittenhouse. So who's really brandishing a weapon right there. Here's another photo of uh, Rittenhouse again running and one of the attackers pointing a gun right at him. So again, who is really, let me just zoom in on the photo, who is really, you know, brandishing a weapon again. One of the attackers were, the, were also brandishing a weapon too. And here's another photo of one of the attackers. This is after I think he got shot. And again, they're saying, oh, he's pointing his gun at him. No, he's pointing his gun downward. Let me zoom in on that again. So. The whole argument is flawed that oh he he was he was provoking the shootings no he, they attacked him they pointed a gun at him they threatened him they were told him they're going to kill him and he simply shot them in self defense you see that's what happens when you when you threaten somebody with a weapon like that they're going to act in self defense that's just how life works but continuing let me make sure I'm full screen yeah. Binger tried to demonstrate this by lifting the, it up the weapon in front of the jury. Quote, this is what provokes the entire incident, he said. Quote, if you're the one who is threatening others, you lose the right to self-defense, he said. This isn't a situation where he was provo protecting his home or his family. Uh, the trial is part of the most closely watched case involving civilians' right of self-defense since George Zimmerman was acquitted in 2013 in the fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin, an unarmed black teenager. Like Zimmerman, Rittenhouse has emerged as a divisive figure viewed as, her veered as heroic by some conservatives who favor expansive gun rights and a symbol of, as an out-of-control American gun culture by many on the left. Rittenhouse, 18 years old, is charged with the killing of Joseph Z Z Z Rosenbaum Hope I'm, saying, hope I'm saying that name right, Rosenbaum, age 36, and Anthony Huber, age 26, and for the wounding of Gagey uh, Gross, Gross Kreitz, hope I'm saying that name right, who turned 28 this month and on August 25th, 2020. The shootings took place during protests, marred by arson, looting, rioting, and looting that followed the police shooting of a black man, Jacob Blake, who was left paralyzed from the waist down. So, it's... it's they're rioting and burning down stores and burning down cities because, you know, this guy was was shot. Well, again, you know, it's like you, you like oh you can't defend yourself. So wait a second, they're gonna burn down your you're, they're gonna burn down cities. They're gonna burn down businesses. But if you try to defend your business or you're hired to defend somebody's business with you know weapons, you're somehow a bad person. Because again, I think I believe you, from what I, from what I heard, he was hired to defend this uh, car dealership business 
from many people who are burning down stores and burning down and looting places and, and destroying businesses. You see, they always try to excuse the behavior of these devil-possessed rioters at Black Lives Matter, but they always try to blame you for what you do if you're a white person with a gun. But then they always make excuses for the BLM rioters who are burning down cities and burning down stores and destroying everything. Uh, they, ne they never want to accept responsibility for their actions. After the defense presents its closing arguments, the jury will begin deliberations and attempt to form a, co a consensus of, on guilt or innocence. The closing arguments are the lawyer's last chance to influence the jury, which it was which has hard evidence supporting Rittenhouse's argument that he was attacked before he fired his rifle. Exactly. You look at the photos. He was clearly acting in self-defense. So, you can read the whole article. I'll post a link to it in the description. But... That, that's the whole gist of the thing. So they're going to come up with the closing arguments uh, this this week, from what I understand. And the evidence shows that he was acting in self-defense. They pointed a gun at him, they attacked him first, and he simply shot them in self-defense. And liberals, social liberals and communists don't like it. And no, for no, I'm not I'm not part of the whole left-right paradigm, okay? I have my criticism of the right wing, too. I, I don't fall for this whole left-right paradigm. Both left-wing and right-wing are part of the Illuminati Jesuit PSYOP, okay? I just understand, I can look at the facts and just see who's telling the truth and who's innocent and who's guilty. And Kyle Rittenhouse was clearly acting in self-defense, plain and simple. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.